Y'all get ready. Yes, you get Hell ready. Yeah. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good today. So just a reminder, please go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea for all your tea sipping needs. Thank you guys so much for your support and stay tuned for the video. All right, so once again, Happy New Year, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good. So you guys have been wanting me to talk about all this drama that's been going on with messy-ass Monice, honey, okay? Monice has been in these streets being messy towards Little Fizz and April Jones. So if you guys don't know who they are, Little Fizz was a part of B2K. April Jones is Amarion's baby's mother. He was also a member of B2K. <laughs> And recently, Omarion announced that B2K would come back together for a reunion tour and a host of other artists that were really popular in the late 2000s, okay? So anyways, ever since then, it seems like it's just been one thing after another with the reunion and the group and, you know, just all the mess going on on social media. So about a week and a half ago, Monice basically insinuated that her baby's dad, Little Fizz, was now dating April Jones, who has two children with Omarion, who is Little Fizz's bandmate. So this caused all types of controversy on the internet. A lot of folks were giving April the side eye. They were also giving Little Fizz the side eye. It caused a bunch of mess. Y'all go ahead and watch this video of Monice supposedly putting two and two together. Go ahead and check this out. Shoulders. So he leaves whatever room he's in, goes to the kitchen. And I see Mega sitting at the table with April's mom. So I'm like, okay, they must be at April's mom's house. I speak to Mega. April's mom speaks to me. I speak back. And I'm like, all right, Cam, have fun at the snow tomorrow. April's mom goes, snow? There's no snow. They won't get snow this year. This whole time, I'm under the impression, I figured he was going somewhere with April, but I'm under the impression that they're going to like, Aspen or Mammoth or Big Bear or something somewhere in Colorado because I knew that they were flying so I'm like all right well whatever it is you know enjoy your holiday boom that was it so when everybody's assuming that the hand in the picture is my BD and I'm like niggas like that's not even fucking possible this man is in Chicago with April and the kids it wasn't shady I like April Honey. Okay, so you guys just heard what Monice had to say. You guys also saw the comments that she left on her Instagram page when people were asking about, you know, going to the concert and things like that. So Monice was definitely being shady, okay? So once this story went viral, April kept denying it. She was saying that she was not dating Little Fizz. Monice kept insisting they were messing around. They then decided to do an Instagram Live, and basically they were both on Instagram Live going back and forth, and it got a little bit heated, okay? Y'all go ahead and check this out. He did it to my mom. My mom hit me and was like, yo, where's Cam? I said, well, I talked to him. I had a hold of him. And he said he was in Chicago. When he went to the kitchen, he was with Mega and April. This is post Cameron coming to me and saying, and my mom, and saying, well, I know that um, mommy doesn't like it when I'm with Mega and Ame. And I said, who said that, Cameron? Because when you told me that you had spent the night at April's house, my only question was, is she nice to you? April's always been nice to me. And, yeah. you told me. and you told me yes. And I said to him, my whole family was at the dinner table, bro. And we were all looking around like, where did this come from? So I said to him. But you're taking, but, but dude, but you're, you're making this so elaborate, Monique. You're said, as as so, so you're upset about this. So you're upset about that and drawing into this, to this situation? I'm upset with the fact that, yes, I knew he was taking my son out of town. He said he was taking him to the snow. He doesn't have to But you don't have to go into detail. You know you were being petty as fuck when well, you were going into detail about, oh, well, he's in Chicago with April and kids, and I thought he was going to be an Aspen or Big Bear or this. Girl, bye. You still, at the end of the day, knew he was going to be. That's, that's the, it doesn't matter. My baby daddy. He you know what? The issue is my baby daddy, not you, and that's what I said on my line. What do you mean? What's the issue with your baby daddy? It, the issue with your baby daddy? Why? He knows why. I told you he was taking him out of town, 
Moniz? What? You're making this an issue. He told you he was taking them out of town. Taking him out of town. Correct. I was confused when I get on. First of all, what you don't know, April. You were confused with what? Because you knew he was going to be with me. And you knew that he was going to. But you knew he was going to be with me. So what's the issue? Hold on. Yes. When This is my problem. And this is why I said my problem is not with you. My problem is with, with my baby daddy because my son is always being weird. weird around you All right, so so you guys just saw the instagram live with monice and april going back and forth and so after that happened little fizz finally put his foot down he's like you know what we got to get this cleared up folks are attacking me you know folks are saying how could you date your band member's baby's mother what are you doing you're being messy so little fizz and april they went live and they basically went in on monice april basically threatened to whip monice's ass and little fizz was just you know he was just upset about the whole situation but when it came down to it they basically basically stated that they're not dating they're really good friends that's it and then little fizz also let it slip that monice is now dating scrap de leon who we all know was once dating tommy from love and hip-hop atl so this damn situation is just messy as hell but you know what i'm here for it bitch okay so anyways go ahead and check out this video of little fizz in april basically breaking down the situation check this out i'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary wouldn't be on tour dumb dumb idiot what's april doing here this is my house Okay, listen, y'all, for the people that just look on people's lives and are so miserable over there, guess what? We're living our best lives. We don't have to explain a motherfucking thing to you. Roll it down. Roll it down. Roll it down. Roll it. Whose turn is it? Was it my turn? I, I, I went. But this is my best friend. This is my best friend. Y'all never said I was fucking him, now did you? And I've known him longer Sorry. than I've ever known you. <laughs> Thank you. And this is Broski. No one ever asked if I fucking him either. She doing so much, girl. Some of you guys are annoying. Well, get off the line, get get off. bitch. Annoying. I'm going to annoy you all night to the new year. Because I'm here and you're here. <laughs> You know, well, y'all fell for it. it. Ain't my fault. Shit. I got the bag last year with Tiffany. How about that? And he continues to get the bag because you fall for it. So I should say that. Yeah. So y'all can fall for Monisa's antics all you want. You feel me? But where's she will have at? no storyline because I won't be at? on Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. I won't. And I told Mona already. I'm not coming back. <laughs> Yeah, but all this shit really honestly needs to end because at the end of the day, we all, you not, you don't live in California. We all are here. We all deal with each other. And it's very petty. This is so childish. I know. Oh, what happened to that surprise party you threw me? I wasn't there. I didn't throw a surprise party. But she said I threw a surprise party and I'm just a little confused. It was a surprise party because she was surprised that she was not invited. <laughs> Hold on. But the simple fact that she said that and then on the other hand says, well, I don't follow either one of them well how did you know i threw him a surprise party when i did you dumb bitch whoa <laughs> that's what i will say put whoa. that on the shade room whoa. bitch whoa that's what i will say walking into the new year i'll beat your oh. ass monies whoa. put that on the shade room whoa. yeah put that whoa. on the shade room whoa. put it on the shade room because i will i'm not fuck i'm not from la i'll beat your ass sober as fuck beat your ass because i tried to call you no chill She's messy as fuck. Your baby mama's messy. We this know, is my friend. Can have some chill. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. No, not drunk. You gotta have a little chill. I'm not gonna have no chill. I'll beat your ass. Throw in the freezer seat. <laughs> I just chill. need her to understand that, like, you know what? I never had no problem with her, but I will beat your ass. No, it's all good. It's all right. you know? We ain't, even, we ain't, we ain't going there for the new year. We're yeah. going we gonna to keep it positive and we're going to chill. I will. We're going to laugh yeah, and we're going to have a good time. You yeah, feel me? Bad. No fighting, good. none of that. We good. Period. But I just had to clear the air because y'all be thinking it's some other shit and I'm tired of the capping. Y'all niggas is all cap and that shit's annoying. Big cap. Period. Point blank. Yeah. I'm done with the capping. <laughs> Big old cap. And guess what? <laughs> Let me live. Fuck. My nigga. Where can I like find the Twitter up. date? On his page? I will fight with niece and I'll beat her up and I will still love her. By the way, guys, that's how I do things. Yeah, three, two, one. Fucking do it. Oh, you gonna see? They gonna be swearing my head about it. 
But you can't go, you cannot do this publicly and think someone is not going to say something about it publicly. So, for anyone that comes in here and is like, oh my God, no, 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 no. This the, first off, this is going to be the last time y'all hear ever. any words from me addressing this But you're shit. talking about it's someone a who's a psycho, who's okay. bipolar Yo, as fuck? Chill, 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 no, chill, I'm chill. No, I'm saying she's psycho. No, but you're just going so hard. Just okay, chill. Fine. We already addressing it, letting people know that, you know, we friends and that's it. No, All that extra shit is cat. People doing shit for hopeful, hopeful storylines that okay. won't happen because I won't be on the next season. So that's just it. And that's no all. one, guys, is gonna ruin yeah. a tour because they've already signed contracts. So me, oh, normal me, or anyone can ruin the oh, fucking tour. We will be there. Well, these might not be there, but I'm gonna be there. So it's okay. Like it's all good. Y'all just get them tickets, man. And, and by the way, I'm single. So if you sexy, then come to the tour. You <laughs> You feel me? And fellas, if you're in the action, yes. you know. Let you know, nigga, I can pull them. You no, I'm saying, I'm saying I might have to have some. God damn. Okay, I might, I might, might know some niggas that could be okay, good for it. I get it. That's it might all be I'm easier. saying. Does this make this more obvious? Oh, my God. You're so attractive. <laughs> I'm fucking you. Oh, my God. Shut the fuck up. Golly. Jesus Christ. Y'all know men and men and women can be friends. I could do this and he's my best friend. My sister, do my sister does my the same friend. thing. My cousin does I can do this and he's my best friend. Oh my God. Why aren't you so mad? Oh my God. Because I'm like close to him. Look, 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 look. I do this all the time. He's like, my baby. He's my baby. Oh my God. Stop being so angry. Y'all are cute. This nigga's always going to be my friend. This nigga I'm always going to be loyal to. You understand? That? Then why y'all still talking about her? Because she talked about us. We're not talking about her. We're just he's never went live. No, I just address addressing it for the first time because I don't like all the cap. The cap is bullshit, and she went on there talking about, oh well, he's um, I'm not the one smashing the homie. Right. Um, and she at the end of the day, you're smashing everybody on Love and Hip Hop, girl. Cut it out. <laughs> Rich Dollars, Ray J, uh, fucking who that. else is on there yes, but that she <laughs> that she didn't win on. Okay, AD. Who else? Let's keep no, the list going. No, who else? Who else? <laughs> God damn it. Who else? <laughs> no, who's, whose hand was she holding? On Christmas. Scrappy. Scrap. Not scrappy. Not scrappy. Not scrappy. Scrap. My nigga scrap. Not scrappy. Not scrappy. Scrap. My nigga scrap. I love whoever Monique has. Because that means the attention is off me. So... My nigga scrap. <laughs> mm. <laughs> nah, that's some real, that's some real, real shit, though. Cause the shit is ridiculous. Cause if you, they really wanted to. Yo, listen, it. stop. That's your baby mama. What you got to say? Do you even have kids? And Get the baby mama, life. the baby mama that call him a baby mama that says he's a bitch and all that publicly. That shit's for the birds. Right. That's that shit's for the right. birds. If you went public, it's still a way to respect. It's still a way to respect. The way even when I fucking said the shit that I said about, oh, I still was respectful. And I'm still up here telling her to chill. Thank you. After all of that, I'm Thank telling you, her to chill. Thank you, but I still want to be... All right, so you guys just saw them going in on Moniece. So after that video went viral all over Instagram, Moniece took her Instagram and she basically wrote this long ass dissertation, honey, going off on both little Fizz and April and threatening to release all of their business out onto the damn streets of Instagram. Y'all go ahead and check this out. All right, so you guys just saw what Moniece posted on social media. I wasn't about to read that shit, okay? So any damn ways, this entire situation is crazy. And I find it funny that whenever it seems like Little Fizz is moving on or, you know, even, you know, remotely liking somebody, Moniece automatically gets in her feelings. And then she starts trying to mess up what Little Fizz has going on. She did the same thing when he was dating Miss Nikki, baby. She did the same thing to the other girl he was dating. The one who Moniece ended up slapping on national television. I feel like you shouldn't be around Cameron at all until you're really ready to be a mother. That's <laughs> Moniece and that makes no type of sense. And well, you're well, delusional if you think that's normal. Don't call me that. Don't call me Sometimes you can be well, a little we're delusional. Gonna stop saying that. We're I'm not going to stop saying that because that's something okay, that I really so truly feel. you're not going to stop talking 
and I'm just not talking I do feel sometimes you are and delusional. And I just set that boundary and said, don't call me. I didn't me. call you I said you you're a little delusional me. sometimes. Stand that. Did you get it? Did I tell you? Did I tell you? It seems like she has not let Little Fizz go. Granted, they have a child together, but it's clearly obvious that Little Fizz does not want to have anything to do with her. He just wants to basically take care of his son and leave all the drama alone. In my personal opinion, Monice is always saying that she's a good mom and that she got a bad rap on national television. You know, if she wants to get full custody of her child, this is not the way to go about it. You know what I'm saying? Her going on social media, bashing the father who has been the sole parent who has been taking care of him, who has full custody of this little boy. You know, so she's just gonna make herself look worse if she keeps going on the way she's doing towards Little Fizz in April. So right now, April and Little Fizz are saying that they're not dating. So in my personal opinion, Monice needs to just fall back and chill out and stop accusing them of something when they're saying that they're clearly not together. Um, and to me, what makes sense for April to be dating Fizz? There's so many guys out there. April is a beautiful woman. She could have her choice of all types of guys. I don't think she would need to date Omarion's ex-band member. You know, even if it was just to spite him, that's gonna make April look dumb. That's gonna make Fizz look dumb. And why would they mess up getting their money and causing more conflict in the band? Band when they're also to going on tour together. Now, another thing about this situation that has me really curious is that, you know, while yes, Monice is messy, okay? But then I also feel like, could they all be in on this drama? Because think about it. A week before Monique started, you know, saying that Little Fizz and April were dating, the week before that, April was blasting Omarion and saying that he was a deadbeat dad, he's not paying child support. She was on her live going off on Omarion, and this was shortly after he had announced that he was going to be doing the tour. So I don't ever want to be like nobody's relationship, huh? because you don't never know what's going on behind closed doors. You know what I mean? You never know what's going on behind closed doors. And I know that there was a lot that was happening with me, even when I was on national TV showing you guys my life. It was a lot that was happening. I wasn't completely happy. I did a lot in that relationship. I did a lot in that relationship, okay? Someone said, court, court, court. Um, I did. I went to, uh, well, he served me with papers on Mother's Day, but I'm sure he ain't going to tell y'all that. He really did. Now, that's the truth. And then, it, then that's public knowledge, I suppose. So... Um, we did go to court and that's why we were going through mediation. Um, but mediation doesn't deal with the financial aspect of, of the money side. So I never took him to court for, for, for child support or none of that, but he served me with papers <laughs> on Mother's Day. Thanks. Oh, I will tell that part because you did. So I don't know if they're all creating all this drama to get more people to go buy tickets and, you know, go see the tour or if this is like some real stuff and they're all really beefing with each other. So it's gonna be very interesting to see how all this plays out. But at the end of the day, they're saying that the tour is still going on. A lot of people are saying that they're still gonna go to the tour. They're not gonna allow Monice and April and anybody's shenanigans stop them from basically having a good old time and reminiscing about their favorite boy bands, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning Little Fizz, April, Moniz, Omarion, and all this damn B2K drama. And their concert hasn't even gone on yet. There's been more drama leading up to this concert, and it just makes no damn sense whatsoever. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. <laughs> Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.